it is uh, not extant that you're watching my messages now today I believe this will of God yes I believe it's not coincidence that you're watching and hearing my message today's my message is very significant the word of God that we ought to know uh, about the end of time that Jesus second coming. Uh, okay, let's look at the, uh, some prophecies uh, concerning the Christ second coming. An important place to start is what is called Jesus Olivet prophecy. You know, Jesus Olivet prophecy. He, 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 he had predicted the, the ending time, what is all going on, the end of the world. It, we call the, 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 the Mount Seminar recorded uh, in Mass 24, uh, Mark 13, Luke 21 chapter. Here, I want to tell you, listen, my friend, uh, you know, everybody know this word of uh, recorded uh, the, uh, the Mass chapter 24. We have the often quoted description of what Jesus said. It would be like uh, before his coming return, second coming. Yeah. So the, the, he said, verse seven through the eight. For nation will rise against the nation and the kingdom against the kingdom and there will be famine, earthquakes, pestilence and various place. All these are the beginning of sorrow. Yes. It's exactly what had happening we, we are watching as Jesus Christ had predicted the, the sign of the end of time yeah throughout the history of a human being people have observed the war that had been happening in, in, in broke out in every place on this earth from the ancient time to now. We are watching. Hmm? Ida would, Afghanistan would, we see every day through the television. Yeah. In this time, famine, a hmm? lot of people who live in Africa are starving now. Disease epidemics. And uh, yet they claimed that Jesus' return was imminent. They thought Jesus will come soon, second coming. Okay, I want to tell you the, the Middle East times, what happened. Many, many Europeans 
in the middle age look at the black sea no, not black sea <laughs> black, not, black death disease deadly disease had happened 14th century in Europe or uh, I, I, I will let you know about the Black Death. The Black Death was uh, one of the most, you know, devastating pandemic disease in human history, resulting in the death of estimated. Uh, 72 to uh, 75 million to 200 million were killed by this black death. Uh, picking in Euro continent in 14th century, exactly 13. 46 through the 1353, it was seven years. The Black Death is estimated to have killed 30 or 60 of Europeans' total population. Hmm? You know, and uh, all right, uh, you know, economic troubles, uh, a famine. I'm, I'm, I'm still talking about the, 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 the Middle Age, the 14th century. And uh, unending wars they had it happening, you know, uh, uh, the between fighting uh, uh, to the crusade to and Muslim. So they concluded that. Christ's return was looming on the horizon. They might have thought that this world is ending. Jesus is coming. But what I am talking about uh, now uh, listen, it's it, it such But one specific statement of Jesus' surprise, vital information about the time before his second coming. What is that vital information? which the focus of the word of God, Jesus Christ, predicted. It is today's text. Uh, for chapter 21, uh, verse 21 to 22. It is uh, this global collapse into war, famine, disease, pandemic disease, like age, and natural disaster that is happening. I see. Yeah, yeah, we are watching 
in, in the hurricane, the storm, and tornado, earthquake, every place in this world. We are watching by our eyes. So I thought, oh, not, not only me people might say, oh, this is the end of the world. Oh, it's just it's coming. I used to thought of that. When I see what's happening by disaster, natural disaster, oh, it's a time, the ending time. Hmm? You might thought. So, all right. In the words that hadn't happened in 1844, that had happened some event, 1844. Oh, let me tell you the, what event had happened in 1844. Uh, you know, these people thought it was the end of the world. Tens of thousands of people believed that Jesus was about to return. Hmm? Farmers released their labor stock and the people sold and threw out their money they had and they gathered together in the church in the one place and the home uh, the camp the, at the meadows anticipating the most dramatic event in history in 1844. The date they believed that Jesus Christ will come was October 22, 1844. The event is known as a great disappointment and it contains, listen, my friend, it contains a lesson for those who are still waiting for the Christ return. After that happened, 1844, we remember a lot of similar event has been happening that Jesus Christ will return on a point time. For example, recently I say Harold Campy, but a few years ago I still remember uh, who Harold Campy, who and the uh, president of uh, and uh, what, what that uh, family station he predicted on the day I forgot the day what he said the lot of people were followed all right ah uh, what is my point to tell you that this is the, the concern of the, the coming of Jesus, second coming? You know, uh, it is easier to see how Europeans in the Middle Ages, I've told you, the group of uh, this uh, the, 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 the people who anticipated the, of the second coming faced with the devastation of the black death 
but they thought that they were living in the time of the end. But even the horrendous events of disease, black death, war and famine that swept across the Europe continent in those days pale, pale, listen, when compared with the disaster of the Olivet prophecy Jesus had predicted in Matthew 24. You know, are you with me? Here's one point, those involved in the great disappointment misunderstood. This is the key point I want to tell you. Christ's return is preceded by global catastrophe. This is universal catastrophe. It is not of parable catastrophe that going to happen. It is not some area like Juro has been happened by the world the disaster, something like that. No. What I'm saying, what Jesus said in Mountain uh, Oliver Prophet. You know, the, the, the Christ return is preceded by global, global event. The, like, I want to tell you more. The, the speed, the time, as you see, the speed of time, speed of age, internet age, internet times, the speed at which disease can be spread through the mass transportation, technology, or Technology. We, we, are, we are seeing now. We, we are handling now. We are doing by computer, internet. Technology is, is deliver, developing every day. The destructive power of a nuclear and the chemical weapon by some country, like North Korea, has threatened the America and the other countries. There's a big problem in those countries, which is going to threat and attack by the nuclear missile like ICBM weapon. I'll tell you more. On the uneasy global economy, where on an even in the one part of the world can affect everyone and to, to other nations. Like, uh, you know, America, if America had the economy of America down, it will affect Europe and Asian continent by like a butterfly effect. 
Oh my Lord, hallelujah. There. So, you know, I want to tell you the population. Concentration, uh, the, the, the concentration of the billion of people in tightly packed in city, like, like capital city, the people are living in the one place in capital city with the limited food supplies. Then there's no food to eat. All these are point to two conditions preceding what Jesus foretold would be like no other time. A time is coming, commonly known as the Great Tribulation, in which the world will be engulfed in such a chaos and violence that humanity will be on the brink of total annihilation. The Olive prophecy just said told and the book of Revelation shows that during this time of global disaster People throughout the earth or you know all people live in the in the big city will see that Jesus Christ will come through the TV, internet network. Yeah. We will see Jesus Christ will coming as a second coming where we are standing in place every people in the world will see Jesus Christ will come as a second coming it will be the most dramatic event and the Frightening event in history. Ah, so I want to stop today's message here because I don't have time. Next series of my sermon will be continued what we can take to stay focused on God's future second coming while staying engaged in our daily life I will tell you three steps we have to do in the second coming of 
Jesus. Yeah. Don't go. I will show you how we have to do as a Christian. You will see what we have to do in the last days. All right. Bye bye. See you later. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Jesus Christ is, is, is coming soon. Yes. I'll tell you more. Are you anticipating the return of Jesus Christ? Are you struggling with the how to live the day by day while maintaining focus on his returns? How are you preparing that Jesus is returning? You can hear the next two week message. Thank you. Bye bye.